Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at how to use Oslogic's Disk Defragmenter. You've got a lot of choices in disk defragmentation including the one that comes with Windows. It's not the best although the Windows 7 is an improvement over previous versions. You've probably got five or six just off the top of my head, the IO bit, um, pure and defrag, stuff like that, that all work very very well. The Oslogic Disk Defrag is no exception. It's probably as close to a five-star program as you're going to get. It's an excellent program. I'm going to just show you some of the basics on here on how to use it once you've installed it. This is your welcome screen. Uh, it's got some great little utilities down here to check for junk files, scan your registry, and do a security check on your system. While it's doing that, let me tell you or remind you, those who don't know, the hard drive can be one of the biggest problems your computer it has more moving parts it's more likely to fail um, it's also a bottleneck you can have these processors now two four six eight processors on there eight gigs of ram you got all this horsepower but then your hard drive could be the one thing to slow you down this is why you want to clean these files this is why you want to defragment these files to keep your hard drive running fast to keep it running smooth and to keep your drive health in its best shape okay essentially as you can see, it found some junk files, some registry errors, pretty common, no security, yay me. And uh, you can go through and figure out what you need to do with them. However, I wouldn't worry too much about that right now. What you want to actually do is go up here into your settings before you run the program. Of course, keeping in mind, you can run the program fine just the way it is. But under your program settings, there's a couple of things I like to check. Under the algorithms tab, I like to delete the temporary files before defragmenting, as you just saw. Skipping fragments is optional, depends on your time. If you've got a couple hours to let it sit, those big files take a while to move, so go ahead and leave that unchecked. And this one as well will take a lot more time, but what this does is it moves the files to the beginning of the disk. So when you start a program up, it automatically can get to the file fastest rather than searching all over the drive for it. Uh, a good way to maybe explain that to you would be if I had two stones in my hand and I dropped one at your feet and threw the other one 10-20 feet away, which stone would you pick up faster? You would pick up the one that's right at your feet faster because it's right there. That's similar to how this works on your hard drive, okay? There's a couple of settings to look at. It has all the same settings you're going to find right down to the appearance. You're going to find these similar uh, IO bit has pretty much the same options, for example. Let's see here. So now I've got the two drives selected because I do have two hard drives depending whether you want to do one or two. You simply just come in here and choose analyze which you can do and it only takes probably a minute at the top. I've done it a couple times so it might even be a little faster and you can take a look and, and figure out the percentage of uh, fragmentation on your hard drive. So let's just give this another second here or 78 percent. It should fire off pretty quick. Again, this is one of the advantages of some of these great freeware utilities, just how fast and effective they are. We've got uh, 20 seconds in. 23, 24 seconds, I've got my drives in analyzed. That's two single terabyte drives for a total of two terabytes analyzed in about 20 seconds. Now from here, if you wanted to do this before you went to bed, you could do the turn off PC when you're done. That's kind of handy. Uh, I usually end up defragming while I get a cup of coffee or something. So before you go to bed's a neat idea. And all you need to simply do is come down here and defrag, which is just your basic defrag. Defrag and optimize, which we discussed with you. That's where you're going to want to move everything around the drive where it can be faster. It's going to take a little bit longer. It says once a week, depending on your computer use, every couple of weeks. If you don't use your computer much, maybe even monthly. And of course, a quick no analyze defrag. The only other setting you might want to mess around with here a little bit is you've got the scheduler. Um, you can do an automatic defragmentation. Windows also has it built in with their own automatic uh, setups for their defrag. In this case, you can do the when the PC is idle, but I'm not a fan because it's probably going to spend more time defragmenting your hard drive and you need it. I don't think you need to write to it any more than necessary, obviously. So what I do is I come down here and I think weekly is very good for most people. You hit your weekly, pick your day, pick a time you're usually not around, and hopefully your hard drive will be defragmented. When you're not there, you won't even have to worry about it. Pretty much set it and forget it. Once again, not much the program you can spend a little more time in here you can go into the manual all these different settings in here but for the most part this right here will get you to some of their other programs uh, they've got a lot of great programs actually for the most part as you can see it's actually pretty simple there's only a couple things you need to mess around with to really keep your hard drive in great shape uh, I'm probably gonna have to run this myself I'm probably 
not in too bad a shape, but I like to give it a good run. Of course, I'll run it as soon as I close my programs. Don't forget to do that. For example, I'm running my screen recording program. My browser's open, stuff like that. Anything you leave open, these programs are going to have a hard time moving those files. Well, probably can't move those files. Let me correct that because they're in use. So close down as many programs as you can before you run it. It is that simple. I really think you're going to like it. I think our readers have it at a 4.6. I think it's a 4.6 out of 5 all day long. Give it a try. The link's right there in the video in the description, and we will see you next time.